Hey, what's up, guys? This is uh, how to replace the intermediate shaft on a 2012 Hyundai Sonata. Um, if real quick, if you're having a clunking noise or a popping noise in your uh, driving column, uh, you may want to watch another video I have about uh, the popping noise because a lot of people replace the intermediate shaft and it's really this gasket in the power steering motor. So go check out that video. Um, this video is how we're going to replace this shaft right here, this brown shaft. Um, I'm replacing it because um, I was requested to replace it. It was for a popping noise, but the popping noise ended up being something else. But I'm going to keep this uh, video anyway just to show you how to do it. All right, so uh, let's get to it here. Wheels are straight and the steering wheel is straight. I'm gonna go ahead and use the seat belt to help keep it straight. So coming down under here, I pulled this carpet back a little bit so I could see uh, this bolt right here better. There's a 12 millimeter bolt right here and then the other one is on this U-joint and it looks like it'll be a 12 millimeter too. So I'm gonna go ahead and get uh, I'm gonna go ahead and get the top one off first. So I'm gonna go ahead and get my 12 millimeter wrench right here. And uh, it's not a lot of room. I'm gonna just get it out and then uh, we'll see what happens. Okay guys, so the top one is actually a 14 millimeter bolt and it's right there. I'm gonna go ahead and get that out. Uh, it's a little tight, but I'm gonna go ahead and get it out. Okay, so I got it loose, and it seems like just getting it loose is enough to make it be able to move a little bit. Uh, as you can see, it's coming down that shaft a little bit. See, But uh, you're probably going to take the whole thing out because this shaft balloons at the end. So take the whole bolt out, and then uh, it should be able to come off. So I got it loose enough to where I'll be able just to unscrew it. Okay, and don't lose the bolt. Hold on to the bolt. Now let's go ahead and go down to this one down here. That's the 12 millimeter. Taking this 10 millimeter clip off might help you get some room to get to that. It's a really tight one. Okay guys, so I got it out. Let's see, there's that one. Uh, I'm gonna be honest, I had to use my air gun right here. Uh, I needed a little more power to get in there and I used an extension. You could probably get it out by muscling it, but it was just really tight because it has this Loctite on it. Okay, so now with both uh, bolts out on each side, let's try to collapse this. It should collapse and like go together. Let's see if I can get it to come off. Okay, so the top will come off real easy. Uh, the top comes off. And so it'll collapse down. Now we just gotta get it off the bottom. Let's lift it up. There we go. Okay. Got it off. Here's my new one. That's my part number. Go ahead and get it out. Okay, it's very slimy with grease on it, so wear gloves, definitely putting it in. Okay guys, so I've got it in. Um, I just I just put it in really, it's actually really easy because it has all so much lube on it. Um, 14 millimeter hole goes on top, 12 millimeter hole goes on the bottom. I try to put it in exactly how it was on the other one. So, you know, like the bolts facing the same direction. So I'm gonna go ahead and put my bolts in now and uh, tighten them down. 